Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Weston. And for this year's science project, I am studying EMF. So today, what we're gonna do is we are gonna measure the radiation levels of some household kitchen appliances to show you what normal radiation it gives off. And guess what? It's not very normal. In fact, it's probably gonna shock you. So this is a tri-field EMF meter, and I'm going to use it to measure the radiation of some household appliances. So as you see here, um, there's a lot of different modes, but we are going to be using weighted magnetic um, because it's one of the most common and it's um, pretty reliable. Standard magnetic is a little less reliable, so we're just going to use weighted version. Okay, so we have my microwave here, and we're going to be microwaving just a glass of water. And so let's see how high the EMF levels are if we microwave something. So let's start. So let's turn on the EMF meter to weighted magnetic. And wow, that is a lot. Sometimes the, it goes so high the meter can't even read it. It kind of fluctuates, so you kind of have to look at it for a while to actually get how much radiation. Like see, see there where it went dash, dash, dash? That means the meter couldn't even read it because it was too high. And now if- what happens if you put it right up against the microwave? Well then it's like constantly too high for the meter to read. Magnetic radiation dissipates as you go further away. away yeah. So maybe when you're microwaving something, you would want to stand a little bit farther away so it dissipates. See, look, now I'm pretty far away so that uh, the level is way lower. And I think a level of five is what is considered to be, less than five is considered to be what's safe, right? Yep. Okay. So here's what happens with the toaster. Let's turn it on. So now we turn on our EMF meter. Wow, look at that. It's at like 50 right now, or 60 actually. Wow. That is incredibly high. Now what happens when you back off? So when you back up, it definitely dissipates quick. But you would usually be standing about here. And that's still a pretty good heap of EMF radiation, or magnetic radiation. But even if you're like waiting for your toast right here, that's a lot. So you would want to stand back pretty far to actually like make sure you're completely safe. So now we're gonna see what happens with the oven. Okay, so turn it on. And wow, look at that. And you might be thinking, well, the oven is of course on, right? Well, you're wrong. This is all from the electrical panel that controls the oven. The oven isn't even on, and but when the oven is on, it makes it even higher. So maybe stand a few feet back when you're cooking something. So this is our Wi-Fi router, and we're gonna see what happens when we measure the RF of the Wi-Fi router. So recently we have moved all our Wi-Fi routers into rooms where people don't spend a lot of time in, and that is because Wi-Fi routers give off so much RF radiation that if you like slept like two feet from one, it could severely mess up your body if you did that for like years. So yeah, let's just get into it. So let's turn this to RF setting. So the safe, the safe level for RF is 0 0.2. And right now, as I'm pointing directly at the Wi-Fi router, it's 2.2, which is way more than 0.2. And it's way more than the safe level. Like right now it's actually even three because it fluctuates a little bit. It can get like higher and then lower, but the average is still really high. Because it uses alternating current, right? It fluctuates. Yeah. It uses, it, it's cyclical. So now let's see what happens as we back up a little bit. And so it is decreasing, but it is still pretty high. Like it's still 0.7 about. And the safe level again is 0.2. So let's back up a little bit more. And it's still really high. And right now it's about 0 0.4, which is a, it's still double 0 0.2, which is a safe level. Oh wow, it just jumped up because sometimes the RF 
just jumps up randomly. Now it's 1.5, even at this distance. Right, so, so now let's try um, this EMF blocking blanket to see if it can block the RF of the Wi-Fi router. So let's just turn this off for a second. And let's cover the Wi-Fi router with the blanket. Oops. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now that it's covered, let's go to RF again. And wow. At this distance, remember it was like two or 1.5 about. Now it's 0 0.04. And the safe level is 0 0.2. So if every night you have this over your router, if it's like in your bedroom or something, you will be almost completely safe from EMF. So it'd be pretty worth it to get one of these. Check this out.